But when I try to bit better, everything changes. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 viral videos of 2022 that broke the internet. How is Rocco gonna eat that cookie, Zoe? Turn on now! For this list, we're looking at the most talked about, liked, and shared clips from 2022. Trailers and music videos are not being considered, though. Which of these viral moments do you think we'll still be talking about in 2023? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Kim Kardashian's Advice When you think of Kim Kardashian, the first thing to come to mind is obviously her sharp business acumen. While Kardashian is undoubtedly a fashion and media mogul, her rise to prominence isn't exactly a blueprint for the everyday woman to follow. So, when she was asked to give advice to women who are in the world of business, her response was not well received. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. This clip blew up almost immediately across a slew of social media platforms, gaining numerous views. The soundbite from the interview has been used thousands of times, with people poking fun at Kardashian's ignorant statement. That was taken out of context, but I'm, I'm really sorry if it was received that way. Number 9. Gentle Minions it's time to suit up, fellas. Leading up to the premiere of Minions The Rise of Gru, memes began to circulate about showing up to the movie dressed to the nines. And when the film came out, swarms of teenage boys followed through. So they just kept the suits on and started a viral trend in the process. Numerous TikToks documenting the phenomenon went viral, gaining millions of views and counting. The actual Minions account responded to the trend with a TikTok of their own, and the now popular phrase Gentle Minions was soon born. The behavior of some of the participants participants got so out of hand that certain theaters refused to let anyone dressed in fancy clothes enter to see the movie. Number 8. What Happened? On Liberty Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. In late September of 2022, a cheating scandal shook up the popular internet quartet The Try Guys. Fans of the group started to notice a suspicious lack of Ned Fulmer in the group's videos and did some digging. Proof of Fulmer's infidelity to his wife Ariel surfaced, and those rumors were later confirmed. The remaining three Try Guys made a response video to the incident in October, and millions rushed to watch it. We are obviously incredibly shocked and deeply hurt by all of this. This is someone who we'd built a brand and a company with for eight years. Saturday Night Live even made a rather poorly received sketch parodying the reaction video, notably imitating the guy's distinct facial expressions, which made the clip popular. He committed the heinous act of having a consensual kiss and not telling us his friends. <laughs> Number seven, Uncut Jams. It's not easy being a muse. Take it from Julia Fox. Would you consider yourself Ye's muse? <laughs> um, yeah, a little, maybe. She was a guest on Alex Cooper's podcast, Call Her Daddy, and was asked what being Kanye West's muse entailed, as the pair were dating at the time. Fox's response, particularly the way she pronounced the film title Uncut Gems, blew up and became a meme. I mean, I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Gems. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, things like right. that. Once you hear it, you cannot unhear it. Tons of people posted their own lip syncs, using the interview as a sound on TikTok. The entertainment news outlet Page Six even compiled a bunch of clips of impersonations of Fox for their Instagram. Number 6. Nicole Kidman's AMC ad Hearing heartbreak feels good in a place like this has basically become a cornerstone of cinema. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Our heroes feel like the best part of us and stories feel perfect and powerful. As a way to encourage the resurgence of the movie-going experience with pandemic restrictions easing, AMC began airing this iconic commercial starring Nicole Kidman before films. It was also seen widely online and on TV screens, and the response was enormously positive. We come to AMC theaters to laugh, to cry, to care, because we need that. All of us. The YouTube clip has over 650,000 views, a number that's constantly growing. But more importantly, it's become a massive cultural moment for theater goers. And once again, SNL jumped onto the bandwagon and had Chloe Fineman deliver a Kidman impression. Somehow heartbreak feels good in a place like this.
break feels good in a place like this. Number 5. Spitgate We'd speculate that this video might have had more people on the edge of their seats than Don't Worry Darling itself did. The film garnered so much hype purely due to purported drama between the cast members, including this clip from their screening at the Venice Film Festival. Twitter users pointed out that Harry Styles appears to spit on Chris Pine upon sitting down, and the video spread like wildfire. Pine's representatives denied the claim, saying that it was simply a, quote, online illusion. This is a ridiculous story, a complete fabrication and the result of an odd online illusion that is clearly deceiving and allows for foolish speculation. Nevertheless, it drew a ton of attention to the actors and production as a whole, sparking lots of controversy. Number 4. Negroni, Spagliato, with Prosecco in it Another interview quote gone viral. Two of the stars of HBO's House of the Dragon, Olivia Cook and Emma Darcy, interview one another in this video. But one particular moment became a meme, which is when Darcy described their go-to drink. What's your drink of choice? A Negroni. I was going to say the same thing. Spagliato. Yeah. Mm. With Prosecco in it. Oh, stunning. Yeah. It wasn't long before you could find the snippet everywhere, from Twitter to TikTok. The sultry way in which Darcy pronounces the beverage name has had fans swooning and eager to try the drink. Fun fact, a Negroni Spagliato is simply a Negroni with Prosecco instead of gin. Thanks to this moment, we'll never look at one the same way again. And a pint. And a pint. Guinness. Mm. Number three, it's corn! If you haven't tried corn, this little boy is here to tell you all about it. For me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? Ever since I, I was told that corn is real, it tasted good. The video first entered our lives thanks to the Recess Therapy channel on YouTube. It features the corn kid, real name Tariq, describing his undying love for the magical vegetable. I hope you really have a corn-tastic day. A corn-tastic day? It's just a pineapple cone. His excitement and descriptions are so adorable, it's no wonder so many people love the video. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's corn. It's corn. While first shared to YouTube, it earned more than 6 million likes and counting after being reposted to TikTok. And like any classic viral video, Tariq got an auto-tune edit for the ages. YouTube channel Shmoyoho put their own musical spin on this clip, which became just as popular as the original. It's cold. Number 2. Elmo vs. Rocco If we learned anything in 2022, it's that even Elmo has a breaking point. A Twitter user shared a clip from the classic kids show Sesame Street, in which the beloved Red Muppet freaks out over Zoe's pet rock Rocco for taking his favorite cookie. He simply does not believe Rocco is, well, alive enough to consume the snack. Rocco says that he wants the oatmeal raisin cookie. Rocco? Rocco's a rock, Zoe! Rocco won't know the difference! This video has been retweeted over 80,000 times. Rocco doesn't even have a mouth! Rocco's just a rock! More clips began to circulate of Elmo's frustration with Rocco, always arguing to Zoe that he's nothing more than an inanimate rock. Someone else? Yeah! Rocco! Rocco! Oh, Rocco! Yeah, Rocco! And guess who needed to get a word in? You guessed it, Saturday Night Live had an Elmo Rocco sketch. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Slap This 2022 Oscars incident was talked about non-stop. As comedian Chris Rock was presenting the award for Best Documentary Feature, he poked fun at Jada Pinkett Smith's hair, and she was not happy about it. To clarify, the star lives with alopecia areata. It wasn't long before her husband Will Smith marched up onto the stage and slapped Rock. The shocking moment took the internet by storm, and the video got a tremendous amount of views in just one day. The interaction itself has been the subject of much contention, while the still of the slap has been edited and shared countless times as well. Chris. I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.